Hi, beautiful Taurus. Welcome to a new era. My name is Emma. Taurus, this is your monthly read for February, and we're going to start with this overall energy for the month, and then we're going to go deeper into the message and see what comes for you. So, Taurus, what do we have for Taurus, please? There you go, that was quick. Resilience. Resilience. And I usually call this my Cinderella card. Like thinking the other shoe is going to drop or the other shoe has actually dropped. But this is overcoming that. We're going to read from the book. Resilience. Rise above tribulations. Um, this card encourages you to endure and withstand stress and recover quickly from life changes, uh, misdeeds, or a bad ordeal. I read that again. This card encourages you to endure and withstand stress and recover recover quickly from life changes, uh, misdeeds, or a bad ordeal. This is also about facing life's adversities with courage and patience in such a way that you come through it unsca unscathed, I think you say, unscathed. <laughs> Better and stronger for the experience. It also means that the recovery from an illness or being rejected by a loved one. It also means the recovery from an illness or being rejected by a loved one. Um, <clears throat> this takes compassion, determination, and strength that will not be defeated. The resilience of the human spirit and the validity of love inhab inhabits us to rise above our tribulations and fly again. Accept your reality in a positive light and make it good. I'm going to read that last part again. It also means the recovery from an illness or being rejected by a loved one. This takes compassion, determination, and strength that will not be defeated. The resilience of the human spirit and the validity of love inhabits us to rise above our tribulations and fly again. Accept your reality in a positive light and make it good. And the mantra for this card is, I have the strength to quickly rise above my problems. And the quickly, I just feel like, uh, the quickly part is, you know, I just want to, I just I don't want to stress anything. It's just because it said stress. Um, I just want to point out that you have the full right <clears throat> and even the capacity to rise above anything you want really, really quickly. However, I just want to say that if it's something that runs really deep or if there's like if you if this is actually you being left by a loved one and you feel like life sucks and you it's just really hard right now and or something has ended or something you thought something were going to go on and then it doesn't and so it comes to an abrupt ending where you're at on that scale like if that just happened um you know there's no rush there's no need to rush to rise above your problems of course, the faster you can get out of them, the faster you get into what you um, are meant to be in naturally, what you are, um, what wants to represent itself to you. But, you know, it's so important to just stick around in those lower vibrations as well, to those feelings and just feel them out and sit in the emotion. If there's anything that I know, working on people and on like one-on-one, -on -one, uh, having one-on-one -on -one sessions with people, you know, from mid 50s and up, uh, it's quite clear that that's when you try the most to feel something that has been long buried underneath, you know, everything. And it just needs to come up to the surface again. As a child, as I look at my four year old, um, 
you know, he, he's having his emotions on his sleeve, like he's wearing them outside of his heart almost. It's like he feels something and instantaneously he just feels it in every fiber, whether he's completely 100% sad, whether he's completely angry, whether he's completely happy, it's, it's just all out there. And I'm doing my very best to not hinder that or dim that shine whatsoever. Because again, that's what I'm talk that's what I'm trying to then, you know, uh, guide people through their feelings or emotions that we're trying to reach that just for, for a moment allow themselves to feel it. So the underneath line, the underlying thing here also is to just be kind to yourself in the process. Whatever this is, if this is hardship, if this is resilience to rise above um, any hardship, to just do that with compassion for yourself, do that with a loving heart towards yourself, that you don't need to have all the answers at once. You don't have to be all that perfect to solve, like to just not have a problem for a moment. Um, you know, just before Christmas here, I really had a problem for a moment and I didn't want to have a problem for a moment. I just, I want to be the one who's always fixed or who's always like the one who's leading and guiding others. And even though I can be that and maybe even better so during those times, because what sort of can't serve yourself, you really can put that service into other people. Um, I'm still working on like really being okay with having an issue, understanding that the issue is part of life. The issue is what propel it, propels us forward and brings clarity and brings understanding and wisdom and even deeper, um, like expansion and growth, you know? And so be kind to yourself in the process. If this is you a little bit afraid that the other shoe is going to drop, so you might even be out on the other side of that. You might even have seen what the um, outcome is, like what the payoff is, if that makes sense. At first glance, we might not see what the payoff is at all. It's like, there's no payoff here. There's no, this was just unnecessary <laughs> bull s happening, and I could just do without that. Uh, so we're not on the other end of that, then it's a different story. But if you're on the other end of, and realizing what the payoff was, what is the feedback here? What is the gain from, from having the situation and starting to see the light of that and then actually be a little bit afraid that the other shoe is going to drop, like be afraid um, that you're starting to see a result that is really beautiful and it's positive and you wonder when that is going to turn around and just hit you over the head again or something like that, that there's a little bit of fear of things working out smoothly. I just, I'm here to say the, it feels like it's a done deal. There's nothing coming back to bite you in the ESS. There's nothing, there's nothing, you know, it's just continue continue on now in a very kind fashion continue on in a very kind fashion and understanding that you have the resilience to rise above anything. It doesn't matter what it is. It truly, truly, truly does not matter what it is. I mean, I hate the phrase, like what doesn't kill you make you stronger because it just, it just talks about like how tough something is and how, you know, but it, really, it does make you stronger. It does make you expand. And when we don't take the hardship, when the hardship is here that top, like that hard, it gets easier and easier and easier. That's easier said than done when you're in it. But when you're out of it, you become like greater and greater to take on the, to take on the, the lower stuff, so, so to speak. And you just get more and more resilient. And it's not that you're toughening yourself up and you have a harder and harder guard or like you just really you're so good at defending or fighting or, you know, that like bring anything on because I'll, I'll break it down. You know, that's not it. It's just you become more and more humble, more and more empathetic, more and more open in your heart, more and more understanding and, and wise to what it means to go through another expansive situation that you react to it in such a different fashion. So there's something here for the month of February, <laughs> uh, Taurus, that is like, they can bring a lot of humility and 
patience actually and kindness and empathy for yourself and for your journey so let's see what wants to come out here what do we have more for Taurus please of Gabriel <clears throat> and the lovers and again I will actually read three of Ariel I won't say anything until I've read it uh, three of Ariel do what you love. It's important to follow your passions and do your very best work. There is a great talent and skill present. The task at hand can be a joyful experience and may bring recognition or financial rewards. This is a time of great personal growth in your career or artistic endeavors. Working with others in a happy, cooperative manner is important. Get the input of those around you, but don't be afraid to confidently share your ideas. Additional meanings of this card is a labor of love, being paid to be creative, awareness of your potential, and being a mentor. And it's interesting because <clears throat> we just had the, there's something here that I think it has brought you to a clearer purpose. It has brought you to like whatever has happened in recent past or in the past that maybe took you off what felt maybe perhaps felt like it took you off of your path a little bit has made you be very, very clear now about what you want. Excuse me. So it's putting you on the right path again, and even a clearer one, if that makes sense. It's like a, it's like a, you know, you're being, you're being a little bit brought to your knees or a little bit like trying to have certain things work out that just doesn't work out. And it, in however you turn or however ever you try to get something to work or put yourself back together or blah, blah, blah. There's only one really clear path at a time, like one path to follow where there's a true passion behind it, where you can get to feel whole, where you get to feel that you're of service to others, where you get to feel creative and even bring in some money. Um, if there's been a lack of money, and I just feel like this is for you, if that makes any sense, which means <clears throat> you might have been around people that could pay for you or that could support you or <coughs> excuse me you're one of two people in a business and the other person is the one bringing in the bacon so to speak and it feels like you just oh when is my time to bring in what I'm supposed to do here or like whatever um and it's nice to be supported and it's nice for someone to like I don't even feel like that's an issue for for certain people around you to say you know you I, I got you you're covered or if this is your spouse, like your partner saying, you know, your job or your passion or your, your side of bringing in certain things right now um, is, is maybe zero or, or like close to nothing money-wise. That is money-wise because you, you might bring a lot of different things to the table. Um, it's just not money, but it might be like intelligence and emotional support and mental clarity and you know whatever it is that you're bringing to the table you can bring so many different things than just money but there's a person here that maybe covers like the, they cover you with the money part but there's something here for you with the resilience and rising above like almost piecing yourself back together and 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 finding that finding that peace within yourself and if this is not a partner that is um supporting you it doesn't really matter. It's a situation where I get that feel. The, I get the feeling that is like it's so important for you to feel like you you've done it on your own. You're now bringing in the bacon, or you're you can stand on your own two feet, and you're not re reliable on someone else. You're not dependent on someone else. That dependent word is really heavy here. So I think you just want to make it on your own and I don't care if you're 25 or 75 there's a feeling here of wanting to make it on your own like you can stand on your own two feet and you're not depending on dependent on anyone that doesn't mean that you can't 
receive support or can't get help from others, and you might actually just be quite good at receiving that, but there's something in the process right now where you get to be more creative, get find your way back into your passion and be rewarded for it, maybe even recognized for it and actually start to <clears throat> like to be independent, to be independent doing what you love. And we have six of Gabriel, which is saying, congratulations, you did it. You have <laughs> climbed back up on that horse. You're back in the saddle. You're, you're doing it. You are moving forward and it's going to pay off. It is paying off. With the lovers, and so I feel like this is because, I mean, the lovers can be that you're actually meeting someone that is vitally important to this path, to whatever you're going through right now. There's a person entering into your life that is just really, really important to what you're trying to do. Like your next step on your path, they're going to be such a helping hand or such a support. Um, but this can also be that due to the whole entire message, I just feel like probably for most Tauruses, this is a situation where you have a choice. You get to decide now how the rest of the, the rest of the journey, it sounds like, well, we have a journey here forever, but if you want to, you can, and obviously you won't because we already have congratulations on the table. We have like, to start to find that path, that passion of yours. This is when you can choose to just lay down and die. <laughs> and and uh, like you just don't want to, you just don't want to move forward. It's just too hard. I don't want to do this. I'm not interested. I'm just going to take whatever comes, you know, I'm, I'm, yeah. Or you say, okay, I'm, I'm going to step into my heart. I'm going to make that bold choice from my heart. What can I... And if you start to ask things like, how can I be of service? I started out saying, you know, when it's really tough, uh, you might even go through some certain things yourself and maybe you don't even want to realize it or admit it to yourself or others. Definitely not to others if you haven't even ad admitted it to yourself. Um, that if you're at service or just wanting to help someone else, it really helps yourself so much. And so whether you do it in the beginning for yourself or whether you do it for someone else, ask to be of service. I find that's the quickest way back. It's the quickest way back to claim your own energy again, to feel centered again, and to feel like you are someone that has something to offer. Um, to just ask, where can I be of service? And just really come from your heart. Like, what is a heartfelt... What can you do right now... <clears throat> that is purely coming from your heart. And that is a choice. It's a choice to say, I want to be of service or I don't want to be part of this world whatsoever. Or it's a choice to say, I'm just going to, is that even an expression? Hustle around. I'm just going to even, let's just see what, what happens. I'm not too interested. Or say, I'm going to try the best that I can from my heart to decide every, like everything. What would love eat right now? Who would love spend time with? Where would your heart feel most passionate? You know, all of those, all of those things. <clears throat> that is a choice. And you have, we have resilience. And if you're like, like I started out saying, if you're at the very bottom of this, if you just entered into something that's quite hard, you're going to want to slap me in the face. But if you're on the other end of this, if you're just coming out of this and you're stepping, like because of what has happened in the past, because of hardship that has happened in the past, the clear, the clear, the path is clear. The purpose is clear. The focus on your heart and the integrity of you, and the boundary of you has never been more clear. Um, then you have the resilience to just choose to come from your heart. You really have the resilience to choose that. And coming from your heart, it's really only the only place anyway. The rest is sort of just make-believe for a bit until you sort of step into that beautiful heart again. <clears throat> Although make-believe is a really beautiful place to be in as well. Does this make any sense? Answer, Tori's. 
Let me just clarify a little bit more. Can we clarify what's going on here for Taurus, please? And you know, vibration sucks. If you know vibration, if you intellectually know vibration, you know that feeling like being in a lower part of the vibration brings lower level thoughts, lower level feelings. It's a sucky place to be in. So whatever you can do on your own, like just through sheer willpower to just, I mean, I find it comforting to just think, okay, I'm receiving these thoughts right now and I feel maybe a little bit pushed into a corner. Maybe I feel a little bit worried, frustrated, disappointed, whatever. Um, maybe it's, maybe it's even heavier for you. Maybe you feel fearful, maybe you feel angry, maybe you feel even indifferent to just understand that I find it so comforting to understand it's just vibration talking. It really is only vibration talking. And the moment you can sort of step out of the lower vibrational places, the moment you just make an effort to just lean in the direction of a little bit of a higher vibration, you're going to have a whole new set of thoughts, a whole new set of feelings that is way lighter, way better to just get out of that like emotional, ugh, yeah, I would say in Swedish, uh, the clay, the heaviness, the mud, the, the really hard, muddy feelings to get out of those. And immediately you just start to see solutions and understand that this wasn't so bad it was just a vibration speaking and so if you can sometimes it just feels like you don't want to do the job at all and then that's fine you don't have to do, do the job at all but the moment you get a little breeze of of higher vibration or higher energy not higher vibration but higher energy a little bit more energy that you have the capacity to even go a little bit higher then go for that because everything lightens up as you lighten, you lighten the vibration. Is there anything else we want to clarify here, please? It feels like there's one card here and then there's one card. <clears throat> From the angel deck. There's three cards. I love this. I I get it. So much three and one. Kinder surprise. Um sacrifice and shadow. So These are almost the same. Do you see, like we have the shadow with the darkness and the light, and then we have the darkness down here, and then we have the light, like being pulled up into the light. I just love this for you because it's like it's a, it's a feeling of like I said, it's not so when you when you go when you go into this place and it's a little bit tough. Like I said, it's like you don't have to. You have the capacity to rise above it really quickly if you want to, but you don't have to. But once you have the recognition that it's just vibration and you have the control, you're sitting on the vibration, you can shift that whenever you want. To start to understand that life is not grand just because you're in the light. We need the double parts. We need all of it to be a, a, round, a well-rounded person, to even exist. You know, we have, the, we have the opposites. So when you're starting to understand like the opposites need equal... They have need equal airtime, if you will. Um, but the way that you interact with it when it becomes really, really high or really, really low is that you're almost like in a balanced place yourself. So it doesn't really affect you either or. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. When you're sort of entering into that space where you understand that good, like the good comes with the bad and the bad comes with the good. It's like a, it's a polar opposite and it's, it's, we need them both. You need them both. You just need to find like a, a happy center 
um, and to understand that you haven't done anything wrong. You, you don't have to judge yourself as you go into the whatever's going to feed the next clarity. Whatever cloudedness is going to feed the next clarity. Whatever low point is going to feed the next high point, you know. That's where you pick up speed. That's where things start to happen. This is a wish fulfillment. This is a wish come true. Accelerated motion. This is when you step into the energies where things start to move really, really quickly. You don't feel stuck anymore. You don't feel like what doesn't kill you make you stronger. You know, all of those expressions. It's This is a, this is a place where you understand that both needs to exist. You know, there's no... To create light, to create electricity, you know, in those old, uh, you did those in school, you needed the minus pole and you needed the plus pole. You needed the negative and the positive. And if you only had the positive going around and you sort of connected those together, no light was coming on. And if you had all the negative connected together, no light was coming on. But as you connected the light with the, sorry, as you connected the positive with the negative pole, the plus and the minus, the light came on. And so there's something about working with both sides, both sides now with Joni Mitchell. You can start working with her. Um, you need both sides. You need a happy medium. You need a happy center to understand that you need to integrate both. And every single time, there's nothing under the ether's sky that you cannot rise above because it's just a matter of climbing up that vibrational ladder once and again, once and again. That's where you find your accelerated emotion. That's where wishes of dreams come true. It's the number eight. We have 18 within the number eight there as well. So the number eight represents um, endless possibilities, bringing heaven to earth, so to speak, creating your own paradise. Um, I, I, I really love this because it, it is, um, you can never outrun the darkness. You can just invite it. Invite it in and understand that you're equally dark as your light. We think that we're striving for, we think that we strive for light and we strive for, you know, <laughs> I'm, 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 I don't want to go there to say they have no idea what they're talking about. But, you know, there's so many channels or there's so many people like finishing their emails or whatever with love and light, love and light, love and light. <laughs> okay. Do you know what that means? It means that we want to include all of it because all of it is in the existence of the pure manifestation we need both we need plus and we need minus okay i think you got it i think you got it uh anything additional here anything extra so just close down the reading for Taurus, please judge the bad parts don't judge when you're there final words <clears throat> peaceful resolution there you go to all of this it's not a it doesn't say that it's a money resolution. It doesn't say that it's a, even a happy resolution. It says that it's a peaceful resolution. You're coming into a peaceful place because of, because of the, what you recently have been in. There's a peaceful resolution to your situation. That's what I have for you, beautiful Taurus. Uh, I want to remind you, or if you're new here, that I do offer personal readings. So if you're interested in one, just please send me a message. The uh, information about that is in the description box. So just like this reading, you just get to ask your own questions. Uh, so if you're interested in that, send me a message and we'll take it from there. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It helps me a lot. Thank you guys.